Hey, dude, can you pass me a spec of Thoron? Sorry, bruh, all out. You want a cube of Elwin? No, I'm not into Elwin. I got a tear of Arcfire. Can I handle that? I don't know. Can you? Robin! What the hell is going on? The Elite Smash! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash. And last time, we got in Snake with a really explosive finish and probably one of the most fun Elite Smash runs I have had of all time. Now we're going back to another big series of characters that we haven't yet finished yet and with this Road to Elite Smash slowly dwindling down there's only one series left that's really really big that we haven't finished yet and that's the Fire Emblem series. So far we have Krom, Roy, Ike, Byleth, Marth and Lucina. Now we're going to get in Robin, uh, magic user and a bit of a sword fighter as well. Very interesting character nonetheless but we're going to get in Robin for our Almost final character for the Fire Emblem series, so let's go ahead and do some magic. Alright, we have Diddy Con up first, and I'm not sure if we've played a Diddy Con in this Road to Elite Smash before. But regardless, we're gonna end and start with Robin's moveset. What I was charging up there was Thunder, and has four different charge levels that you can charge it up to. It's, yeah, Diddy Con's are gonna struggle a little bit just because his moves be out a lot of mine, and it isn't really too good and not really getting the grab, but we'll pay attention to his sword. Ooh, we get a shield break, and that's the power of the Levin sword. As we're going to try and charge up a nice F smash. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? I'm always three steps ahead. I'll take the cheeseburger meal. Get in the monkey out to start, and yeah, that's the thing with Robin's Levin Sword. That is one something that he uses for a lot of his tilts, all the smash attacks, and his aerials. But the thing is, all right, living at 129 still, and the bananas on the field well, unfortunately tripped, and we have to lose the first stock. But yeah, the thing is, pay attention to the meter close to Robin's uh, portrait on his uh, uh, character. If you can tell, uh, just use this uppy Elwin. It does expire after a while, and there's the Levin Sword come back. So that's the thing with his Levin Sword, you can only use him for a little bit after they expire, and and it will turn into his Bronze Sword when it's not being used. And nice up smash that Levin Sword coming in clutch after the arc fire, his side B. Alright, getting a nice forward throw. Alright, and he missing the down air. And yes, Elwin can actually spike if you time it uh, right enough, but I don't know if we're going to be getting too many spikes. His spikes are hard to hit with. We're living at 160 though, so they're pretty good. Not. Well, unfortunately, that's going to be an ST. We're going to made it back with Elwin. But the thing is, if those tomes expire, you won't be able to use them. They will fail. Find this dude's Twitch name and, matter of fact, ban him on every single platform. But not that up smash. That up smash is not failing. Getting him off the arc fire. Getting him on the tail as well. That was a pretty nice way to finish things off. And yeah, Robin just being three steps ahead. So I spent a lot of last match kind of tied up in my words just because I was busy battling that Diddy Con. And I think we know what we're doing. So I'll talk a little bit more about Robin's reset. So that's his jab, uses his L1 tone for his multi-jab. But if you can do it nice single jab, it actually uses his arc fire tone. Alright, nice. And we get a second hit on that. And yep, his rocket barrel is not going to charge up fast enough, so he's going to have to die there. Alright, it's 83. Alright. Alright, and yeah, he's definitely going to go for that downer there if we let him. Alright, so right now we're charging up his uh, Thunder Tome. It has four different levels of charges, but uh, alright, there we go. Nice, fully charged. And that's the one I'm really aiming for. Alright, gets another down air. And Diddy at 17, so he's telling you those moves are powerful. That was his down beat, not for Sferadu. Can actually heal. Alright, there we go. Nice up air for his Levin Sword. Missing the Arc Fire. I'm having a little, a little bit of trouble, but there we go. That's his normal jab. Is 1, 2, 3 into the Arc Fire. And it does use up that Arc Fire Tome. Nice forward air as well. Alright, and he does Rocket Barrel back. And that's the thing, when his tomes and swords uh, run out, 
you can actually use them as items. So we're working on the people. And yeah, Diddy getting really greedy for that down air, but I don't think we're going to let him. At 97, him back up to 73 with Nosferatu, getting a nice arc fire. A nice up tilt. Doesn't actually use Leaven Sword, so you can use that if you don't want to use his Leaven Sword tomes. Alright, makes it back with Rocket Barrel. Now, unfortunately, not getting the Leaven Sword just yet, so Bronze Sword won't be doing as much. Well, I think we can make it back. Wow! Alright! Looks like Diddy crashing into the side of the stage, and well, and just barely able to make his back with the help of that Rocket Barrel. And yeah, it looks like it seems that the fates are joined. Alright, last up is going to be Wolf for this World Elite Smash, and honestly, I don't think it's going to be as hard as you would think it would be. But there still are some moves that we haven't gotten over. We're starting off with a nice arc fire, though. We have talked about dash tech, and so far, we don't start off with the Leaven Sword right away. As you can see, it's charging right in the background. Nice forward throw. And there we go. Now we have the Leaven Sword. We can use nice L1 jab. Let's start things off, and there we go. Nice Leaven Sword. Gotta be careful of Blaster. And Wolf does have Reflector, so you gotta be careful with using magic. And yeah, it looks like Wolf tried to get me with a side beat, but not too close to the ledge, so he is going to die. And we make it back. Tries to read us again. I gotta respect him on that one. Alright, nice down throw. You can do near out of that. I tried to go forward air, tried to read that. Alright, nice arc fire. Ooh, nice! Getting that last hit. It actually would have failed if he didn't jump into that, but nice up smash to finish things off. We're already ahead, so trying to use that Nosferatu. You can do some uh, nice book combos. I'm gonna try to, uh, unfortunately, not getting that Nosferatu book. I want to see if I can grab it midair. 160 still living, but unfortunately not, because we're gonna have to die to Wolf Down Smash. But we still have a nice, comfortable stock lead over this Wolf. So let's go ahead and get that Thunder fully charged. That's Down Tilt and Dash Tech. I haven't really used those two a lot. All right. Yeah, it's really hard to get that Arc Fire one, two, three jab that we got against that Diddy. Oh, there we go. We got it again. But most of the time, we will get the L one. Oh, he's so close to getting full on and missing the book and he does get the back air. He's at 158. Why don't we just go ahead and charge up that Thunder Tome again, see if we can get Thor on. It is fully charged, he's at 167 and he's getting very impatient, he's trying to counter it. Alright. There we go, nice, nice Thor on, shocking him just like that. And you, you can't really be spamming oh, reflectors against me, especially when our face are joined. Well, I guess you could say this was kind of a magical Road to Elite Smash, especially with Robin being a master of magic. I definitely thought Robin was a very interesting sword character to play, especially with all his limits on his swords and his tomes. I definitely think it makes him more of a balanced character than people realize, because if you had access to all the Leaven Swords and Infinite Tomes, uh, Robin would be a pretty busted character, not going to lie. And honestly, those matches we got, nice shield break with the Leaven Sword and being able to use a lot of his moves and showed off power with both the Bronze Sword and the Leaven Sword and all of his tomes. I definitely think it was a pretty magical experience for Robin's Road to the Lead Smash. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and throw on that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.